Uh, guys, imagine get to someone's back, you know what I mean? Maybe one and the person, and then you make sure he's back, isn't that? You make over here, and then you have this control over here. You have to be very careful because you don't want to let the other person escape. You don't want to hurt the other person. You don't want to put the person on top of you. If you have this control over here, you have to make something very like a, a guarantee. When I say guarantee, like something that's really going to give a chance to do this. So for example, I see some, some really good people. When I say people like high level black belt, final, Abu Dhabi, Mundial, they lose the back when they have this control. And when I say lose the back, like I lose the opportunity, lose the fight because they couldn't finish. They couldn't put their hooks. And that is, it's, it's something that we cannot miss. And from, from my experience, I believe, guys, if you get to someone's back like this, he's holding my hands. He doesn't let me like jump to his back. He doesn't let me put the hold. Maybe he's too big to me, pick him up and throw him on his back. So that's when I'm gonna jump and just get my feet behind his, his, his leg. But I cannot go to the side. I cannot tilt him to the wrong side. I don't wanna do something wrong. I don't wanna just pull, I don't wanna sit on his leg and break his knee. I wanna make sure just I bring him down with me. I don't know if you guys realize, like, I bring him down, but I don't put him on top of me. I didn't bring him on top of me. I didn't let him go. I kept, like, just kind of, we both on the ground, you know. Just kind of, like, a easy, like, landing. Because I can feel comfort over here. I can feel comfort. Any moment, he can just kind of break me out. I just, I lost the whole chance. When I say the whole chance, like, you, you, you're about to finish, and then you lose the whole thing. So I'll do something like this. I'll keep everything tight. I'll make sure like I have the control. I don't even need to look where, where he's like because I have a sense of like from his hip. I have a sense to feel like where he's hip and then one more like And I like to see people try this almost as like a challenge. Challenge of control yourself, uh, balance yourself and uh, resist in the position. When I say resist like a, it's very common if I land over here, can you put your weight back? Uh, I'm sorry, no, 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 no. After you fall, you lean back. You understand? And then you end up in this position. And then the guy ends up like on top of you. Or maybe he ends up putting his back on the mat. You maybe end up on top. But maybe his back is on the mat and you're on top and you don't have his back, you don't have to finish, you recover gut. You maybe make two points, depending. But then you don't finish. So, the reason why I'm putting my foot behind his, his ankle is because I want to control him. And what makes him, um, what makes him stay on the floor is that I push his leg. I push his leg forward. So he cannot really kind of push his feet to, he cannot really push his foot to kind of like uh, get my back on the mat. So I kind of, I break his pose and we stay here. And then obviously like, uh, maybe now he got a little bit desperate and then I put the seatbelt. If he doesn't get desperate, I take my I hold my hands. I'll take my time. I'll take my time. He's, he's not moving. If he stay here, if he's open, now is the time. Hold, hold. Now is the time to like. Uh, if, if you let go my hand, I connect my hands. If you hold this, now is my time to put the hooks. Slow, take the time to put the hooks. He's gonna fight the hooks. You put the seatbelt. So, but most important, we have to have that control. So who's on? So who has this position? Just get used to it. You don't resist the other person, you don't, fall, you don't start falling, just take your time and to land. When I say land, like, he's gonna lean back and I'm gonna fall. Can you do it? <laughs> just like that, just land, you know. Just like, don't, don't, don't try hard, you know, just land, you know what I mean? Like, a, if, if you try, if you get like a, I see this like, if you get that kind of like, oh, he's gonna jump, he's gonna just wait and fall, you know. Just don't, just don't, don't fight against. Just let go, and you fall on your butt. The other person, try don't fall back because I want to who's, I want to who has the back. I want to who has the back get used to this. Don't fall back. Don't go forward back. So I want to who has the back get used to like a push him away. Who has the back just gonna you stay here. And then, if he, when he falls, maybe he opens his arm and then you put the seatbelt. And now you can take your time. Now you have the control. You can look for crucifix. You can look for the finish. You can look for like the hooks. You, you take your, your, you make your choice. That's what I guess. Yeah.
guys, very good. I, I didn't see nobody like really doing like anything like that wrong. So it's, it's a big plus to me because we've been doing this for many times before and then the first time we did this is just the worst part. I guess everybody was just having that trust and the, just kind of the same way to go and the other person also kind of like just didn't want to mess up the position so let you both kind of like uh, uh, finish the position safe. You know? But now let's do this. So I did, I did like a, I did the land, but as soon as I land, I need to keep everything tight. So I start low. When I say start low, like I don't speak so high because it can easily pick me up. You know, it can easily kind of throw me side. I, I don't want to have this one. I'm just kind of like low over here. And I say, well, I'm controlling his hip. So when I feel ready, I just go. And as soon as I land, I, I hold the position. We both stay here. He maybe is gonna try like a go to a side. He maybe gonna try to go to the other side. I don't know, but I don't like him pushing him. Uh, can you slow start pushing back? So my feet kind of like got him like off. I don't I don't like him kind of like. Can you bring your heel close to your butt? Yeah, I don't like him do that. That's why my foot is kind of like behind him. So and obviously like uh, any moment I start put the hook, right? I start put the hook. Put the hook means like you have four points. You are ahead of. He has to move. So if you land over here, he hold. If you land over here, he holds your hands. Take your time. Which side are you gonna go? So that's how you put the first hold. So as soon as you put the other person choose one side, that's how you put the first hold. And then you put the other hook. And if you make four points, he's definitely gonna start kind of like that's because he has to. He's a lot behind. And that four points, guys, should should give you like a, a way. Out to the finish. When I say to, to the win, to, to, to win the match, because those four points, like, we're gonna be really hard to someone recover that. So he know he cannot give that. So let's do the same thing, but as soon as you land, as soon as you land, you put the hook. And now if you start to fight the hook, you put the seatbelt. Now if you take the hooks out, soon, soon you're gonna put the hook back again. We trust. Seatbelt first and hooks after. The reason why is because like hooks give the point, the seatbelt gives the control. And the control gives the point and gives the submission. If, it doesn't mean because you make the point you're gonna finish the match. You still have a chance to lose. You can make the point and then five minutes, eight minutes later, you still can lose. So seatbelt first and hooks after. If he doesn't get the seatbelt, you put the hooks and then he probably gonna have to fight the hooks and then you put the seatbelt. Let's go try this. If you, if you ask me like uh, uh, why 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 I do this and not just do this, you know what I mean? Like uh, because that's a big challenge. When I see like someone bigger than you or taller than you, you cannot really break and stick up. You know? If you just guys look, <laughs> I'm not joking. I'm, if you extend your leg, what's gonna happen? You know, it's gonna mount on you. You understand? Know, fight. If I, oh, you gotta extend your leg more. Yeah, the, the, the guy can put it on top of me. So I need to have like a lever to kind of like a, a push him off. And what a longer and bigger lever than like a, a, a leg press. You know, you just kind of, you really extend like, it's a leg length, you know. That's how much I'm working on that. And even with that, I still believe there's a chance it doesn't need to fall back. Even with that. This, I'm sorry guys, like some people can stay here like all day until I, I get tired. And like I said, I can get him down, but I don't want to get him down on top of me. I want to get him down and I'm on top of me if I can choose that. So let's, let's try it. I'm going to do that, you're going to land on your knees. Can you do that? So look, so look, <laughs> I'm going to do the same thing and just don't fall now, I'm sorry. Yeah. This is like a weight balance, you know what I mean? Like I put, I'm putting the weight back, he's putting the weight forward. So what does that mean? Like he just count the weight. If he's that big, I can put all my weight back, but if he's that big, he can count the weight and don't go, don't go back. It's a problem, you know? But it's hard because he can really uh, ham his knee, you know what I mean? Well, I'm trying to say like, remember what I just said about the leg press. So he's lean forward, Guys, now I'm really going to start kind of yanking that out. And that makes it really hard to stay there. 
Maybe he fall forward, maybe he fall back. If he fall back, we don't even know what to do. If he fall forward, he fall forward. So if he fall forward, easier, you know, easier. I promise you, it's really hard to, even there's a weight balance, it's really hard to stay with someone kicking and cut, jerk your weight up, back and forth in that position. And that's why, like, I, every time I show this move, and also because I still see people doing the other ways. And the other way is like a maybe, maybe not. This way I trust and I promise you like there's a very a good foundation why to do that way. And someone bigger maybe doesn't fall forward, maybe he lean forward, or maybe he hang your weight. But it's going to be really hard to kind of like, I don't know if you guys realize how much uh, energy I can generate like a yank back and, and, and kind of Keep, I'm not kicking, but I'm just kind of really like unstabilizing with, with that position. And that's what you gotta do if someone is bigger than you and he's not falling, not breaking to that position. Let me sit down. Same position, guys, starting from here now. He has control of my hands. What I mean is like a, he's, he's preventing the belt, but not necessarily he prevent the hooks. We're gonna do regular training from here now, guys. Regular training. So one person has to put the hooks, finish the match if you can. The other person protect yourself and don't let the other person get like a, a, a points. Get ready, guys. Get 